Hi beautiful Thrivers, welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It's Monday and today that means I'm going to be doing a DIY custom envelope for my teenage daughter's cash envelope binder. So thank you for being here, click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, like the video and let's go. guys doing I hope everyone is doing well as per usual everybody is okay and if you're not okay it's okay to not be okay but I appreciate you being here I appreciate you clicking on the video and before we get started I'm gonna go ahead and grab today's prompt a card if you're new to my videos this is a prompt a card it's basically a conversation starter so I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below it's just a little something to help me get to know you better and you guys to get to know me better so today's prompt a card is Ooh, what single word best describes you best describes you for me, I'm going to say chill. <laughs> I'm a very chill person in real life, on camera. What you see is what you get. I'm just very chill. I mean, I do get excited. I do get hyped up. I can hype somebody up for sure. But for the most part, I'm extremely chill. What about you guys? What single word best describes you? So... We're going to be continuing the series of doing my daughter's DIY custom envelopes. This is her binder. If you're new and you've not seen or followed the episodes thus far, this is her binder. She is 17 years old, so it's her very first one. She clearly loves Attack on Titan, so we decorated this up together. I have a video on that. And we are slowly working through her list of envelopes that she wants for her binder and so far we have Ross which is her bird we have spending we have moving out and she's doing it in this comic book type theme to go with Attack on Titan which I think is a great idea completely her idea so awesome I love it and I'm enjoying making these so with that being said, let's go ahead and look at what today's envelope will be. So of course I have my two envelopes here. This is the one we're actually going to be using inside of her binder. This is the one we're going to be using to draw. Now I'm using two of course um, because this is a lot smaller than all of the other envelopes. It is just enough room to hold money and I like that they have the bigger ones that are just a little bit more roomy. So this one is what I'm using to draw our images on. Then I cut it out and I put it inside here, which kind of helps to make things a little bit more versatile. So if ever she wants to change them out, she can easily do that by just taking out the drawing and putting something else in it or on it. Um, so this is what I'm going to be working with today. It's her savings, and this is the image she has given to me to draw for her. And I went ahead and put savings here. So that's what we're going to be doing. If this is the first time of ever watching one of my DIY custom envelope videos, this is what I do. I get an image. For me, she gave me a bunch of images that she wants in her binder. I added some little anime bubble, anime style type things with some words so that it kind of goes along with that. And then I will take this image and I will put it inside of an envelope like this. And then using Sharpie markers, I will trace over that image. And once I've got it all done, I'll take the image out and then whatever I've drawn is left on the top here. And then I go one further and I cut this image off of this because I don't like these envelopes and I might as well use them. So otherwise I would be using like tracing paper or something like that. So for me, I'm just going to utilize what I have here and so I can use these envelopes. They weren't a waste of money. 
Um, so I'll be doing that. I'll be cutting the image out. Then I'll take that and then I will slide it inside of here with some cardstock behind it just to kind of give it a good, nice little backdrop and it keeps the envelope firm because these are pretty flexible. And then it'll be done. But you'll see all of that in this video. The rest of this will be time lapse with some music. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Just like that we are done this is probably one of the easiest ones she's given me so far I love when they're easy <laughs> so what do you guys think I like it I think that it goes right in theme with hers I feel like I might have cut it just a hair but I can reposition yeah and like I said, if when she gets older, say she doesn't like Attack on Titan or anything anymore, she can take those stickers off and she can easily just take this out and then replace it with whatever she wants. So it makes it really versatile, I think. So before we put this back in here, we have to get her reaction. So I'll be right back. I see it. Oh, you see it? Mm-hmm. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. You know, you know what you gotta do. Beep. You should start putting your money in here. I don't have any. Oh, yeah. You just spend it all. Yeah. On this. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. All right, good deal. Looks One good. more down. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you bought this, and now I'm going to be snuggling you lots more. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, baby. And there we have it. She likes it. We got the daughter's approval. So we have our Ross, our spending, our moving out, and now she has her savings. Awesome. Yeah, she just spent a lot of money on that and a gift for her friend. So anyway, stay tuned. Next week we will be doing another DIY vid and we'll be doing another one of her envelopes. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and 
um, maybe getting some inspiration for how to just change things up in your own budgeting journeys if you're using the cash envelope system. Think outside of the box. That's what this is. All right, I will see you on Wednesday for our WTF Wednesday video where I go over the past week of online expenses and we replace that money back in the bank where it needs to go. Looking forward to it and I will see you then. As always, until next time. Bye.